Namaste. Thank you for joining today. Today is going to be a simple and a deep and sort of intricate medita meditation. Let us see. Uh, see, uh, okay, I will tell the facts when you are into the meditative mood. That will be better. So take a comfortable position. Keep your back completely straight. And take some deep breaths. As the breath is going in, feel the relaxation getting into your body. And as the breath is going out, feel all the stress and tension just leaving your body. Breathing in, relaxation and breathing out stress and strain and tension from your body. Every breath that goes in is taking you deeper and deeper into this wonderful state of relaxation. And every breath that goes out is removing all the stress and strain and tension from your body. Feel every cell of your body deeply and deeply going into this wonderful state of relaxation. Enjoy this state. You feel absolutely safe and wonderful in this state of relaxation. And every breath that goes in is taking you deeper and deeper into this state and every breath that goes out is removing all the remaining stress and strain and tension from your body. Every sound that you hear from me is taking you deeper and deeper. At the deepest level, each one of us know, knows that we are Sat, Chit, Ananda. Sat means truth, absolute being or existence, that which is enduring and unchanging. Chit means consciousness, understanding and comprehension. Ananda is bliss, a state of pure happiness. So we are all eternal consciousness and bliss. That is the truth. But as we take up this body, we get a mind, a logical mind. And the pure consciousness, deep consciousness that each one of us have is aware that we are Satchidananda. But we all have a second mind. We've been trained to think logically and trust this second mind right from childhood. We think that the second mind is helping us and it makes us also think it's helping us, it's for us to be successful in life. But actually, the second mind is crippling us, taking away the inherent faith from us. So how will you know that when you are using the second mind? I can give you some pointers. Okay? So when... Our mind, limited mind, has to communicate with the universal mind. We do not need language and words. So the moment words and language is predominantly being used, it is your second mind. And when you think there is a deep sense of doubt creeping in, you have to go for an interview 
and if you are with the universal mind you will just do your preparation to the best of your ability and just go for the interview but as you are doing that your second mind peeps in it creates doubt in you so many aspects we we are all familiar with that okay so first was words and language second is doubt and then destructive emotions if destructive emotions come into picture you are operating from your second mind and the final point there is you are either dwelling in the past or in the future thinking or planning or worrying about the future future so these are the pointers for you to realize yes i am using my second mind and this is going to cripple me so just once again words and language doubt destructive emotions and dwelling in past or future so can we uh limit this use of second mind if you can limit that and be more in tune with the universal mind every living moment every waking moment that is meditation so it is meditation every waking movement so today let us see how the second mind is coming into play so as you are sitting in this totally relaxed position imagine a beautiful rose in front of you each one of us have seen beautiful roses imagine one of them and i want you to look at that examine that rose without words and language so while you are doing this you can bring your attention also to the rising and falling of your abdomen with each breath just keep observing that rose so the moment a thought comes into mind oh this is a red rose you know that is language coming in what do you do you just observe that observe that thought and then it moves away after some time it may come oh this is smelling so good again second mind observe that let it fall apart so i'm going to give you time today just observe this rose without thinking without words without language and when it comes observe it observe that fading away again come back just observing the rose and also being aware of the falling and rising of your abdomen so let's start that
So we had all been trying to observe that rose and we experienced how often the second mind pops in. So this is what is happening in our routine life. The life can run smoothly in peace and in bliss, but the second mind pops in, creating blocks and destructive emotions. By constant practice, we can get least interference from the second mind. So now slowly let us come back to the present and now become aware of your physical body. Become aware of the surface of your body touching the surface where you are sitting. Maybe you can wriggle your toes and fingers and take a few deep breaths. Feel every part of your body alive in bliss. And when you think you are ready and you know you are ready, you can slowly open your eyes. Thank you.